Hello everyone, Dan Her with Dan Her Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I am back here at my new claim, the Ocean Picture Stone Quarry. Look at that stuff. Whoa. Because after harvesting a few hundred pounds of it before, I found out that there's a lot of lapidary artists and jewelers out there that want this stuff. And I've run out. So I'm here today to get a whole lot more and hopefully some of the most beautiful pieces. That's the goal for today. Wish me luck and I hope you enjoy. Now my goal today is to take the little rotary hammer and try to make some recesses underneath some of the big blocks. Oh, like right under there, perfect. And see if I can get my big pry bar underneath these slabs and start lifting them off. A lot of them do have sort of a weak spot between the material and the host rock where it splits away nicely. So that's my goal is to try to get some of these pieces that have very little flaws in them, break them off into one pound pieces. That's what I've been selling is one pound pieces of the stuff. So I'm gonna break them off into one pound pieces and see if we can get some of the really beautiful really perfect scenes coming off here. It shouldn't be too hard, I hope. You having fun, Ev? Mm -hmm. Alex is holding a rock that's bigger than him. No, probably weighs more, yes. And it has a big blue seam through it. Nice. Uh, can you bring it down the more safe way rather than over the cliff? Well, why does he put it over here on top of this little slope and just give it a good push? Okay, yes, he should show me then. There we go, we have a nice recess for the big pry bar to get underneath. I'm gonna put it in there and see if I can lift it off. See what happens. I might need a bigger gap for this pry bar. Let's try that. Come on. There's gonna be one of my premium specimens. I'll put this rock up as it is, just like that. Look at the color. That is amazing. Okay, got another one ready here to pry. Let's see what happens. coming oh it's a coming oh look at the colors it's breaking along its natural flaws look at the colors on that there's about half a pound piece right there whoa there's the other half pound those together would make a pound of premium for 75 bucks Oh, there's two pounds of premium. Unless that's a crack. Maybe a pound and a half, because there's a crack going through there. And this, this will definitely be one of the specimens. That's a $400 rock. Maybe even more. Wow. And then all the chips for the chip bags. Evan, you can grab those, put them in the bucket. There's also a huge crack there on one of those rocks. Oh yeah, we'll get more of this out. We'll get more of this out. Some of this, like this stuff's free already. Look at this stuff. All sorts of amazing. We are getting the most magnificent samples here. Ocean picture stone. You're supposed to get a scene of an ocean when you uh, cut it into a cabochon or some sort of fancy finished piece of stone, which I don't do. I just collect the rough. I don't do the finish work. But if you actually go and get some of this stuff that looks like beach, water, and ideally clouds or rocks out in the water, it makes the perfect scene. This one here, the big one I just got, it's all over. You could make thousands of cabochons out of this one piece. 
and they would be marvelous. And I'd say right now we probably have about three or 400 pounds of stuff right here. My goal for today is a thousand pounds. Look at this one. This is a beautiful piece and it's ready to come. So ready to come. Shoe lace undone. Oh yeah. Looks like someone tried to drill this one in the past. There's a few different drill holes and whatnot around here from past diggings. There is probably a six or seven hundred dollar piece of stone right there. Woohoo! Magnificent. The best color possible. Inclusions, host rock, blues and whites and stones out in the water. That is an amazing piece. And Evan just brought in a nice sample too. Great blues, whites, host rock, great ocean scene on it. Nice and big. That's a beauty. Alex brought that one down earlier with a beautiful seam right through it. I love those. They look like rivers when they're cut. You having fun? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There's another perfect premium rock. Probably two pounds worth there. It's like a $150 rock right there. Now there's a piece of premium. The best blues, included host, nice layer of host at the bottom. That'll be a perfect beach scene right in there. That's a one pound piece. Woo hoo. Oh, that looks beautiful too, Evan. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I'm gonna try to get this piece off right here. It's such a beautiful section. I see a flaw underneath. I should be able to lift it from right there if I chisel away nicely. That should do it. Not big enough. So I've been going for like an hour now on this rock, wedging it, cracking it, banging it, wedging it, everything. I finally got it moving. I was going for this section right here. Beautiful rock. Uh oh, blood. That would have been, you know, a five, six hundred dollar rock. However, when I started prying it, this crack is actually tight and not broken. This whole chunk started coming with it. So now I'm working on this rock and I don't know where it's gonna break off. This could be, you know, a thousand or two thousand dollar rock by the time I'm done. I have no idea. But it just started moving on me. As I was hammering in the three wedges, one of them fell out. The other one went in easy. It started cracking. It's ready to go. I'm gonna get in place for above it and see if I can break it off. It's a moving. Oh, look at that. I got even other ones free here. Here comes the rain again. There's a beautiful piece. There's another ah, beautiful piece. Oh. And there it is. Woo, deadly little thing. What? A gorgeous piece. There's a thousand dollar rock, if not more. So the host rock seems to only be red like this when it's oxidized and weathered. Inside it seems to be this gray material, which is very neat. We could get some real neat ocean scenes with gray host, rocky beach, the blue water, the white sky. That would be really, really neat to see because most ocean picture stone scenes always have this red host for the beach. I like it. I see a few more chunks I can harvest here and we're probably gonna be on the road soon. What a day harvesting ocean picture stone. Wow, we've got the best quality stuff I've ever seen coming out of here and lots of it. I think we probably got, you know, 800 to 1000 pounds of rock today and the best rock. I'm gonna take all this home and you know sort it off into low quality, high quality, premium quality, and then those specimens, those rocks that are just too good to break down into one and two pound chunks that need to be left whole. And then I'll put a value on all of them and maybe let you know how much I actually got here today. I'm guessing 30 to $40,000 worth of stone. The best stone. Finally, after years of prospecting, I get a big payday. This is amazing. <laughs> and as Dana says, this will keep us busy for a long time, sorting and selling all of this. 
wow, we are all so happy. And I also love the fact that my family loves coming and harvesting this with me. I don't have to convince them to come out and help me. They do it because they love being here. It's amazing. Anyhow, get it all to the truck. We've got buckets and buckets and buckets of this stuff. So we managed to sort it all and grade it all. We took all the big pieces, the big beautiful specimen pieces, and put them aside. We're going to sell those as individual specimens the way they are. They're too big and nice to break up into smaller pieces, so we have to leave them the way they are. They will go up with pictures of their own and everything. Then we have about 300 pounds of high quality material. It's pretty nice material, but it's not the very best. Some of it's really nice, but it's not the premium. We have about two, three hundred pounds of the premium pieces, the very, very best pieces that we could come up with. That would be, you would make into beautiful pieces of jewelry or sculptures, cabochons, whatever it might be. We have a couple hundred pounds of high quality smaller pieces if people want smaller stuff or the premium pieces but smaller so they're not huge but they're still the most beautiful colors and banding and just absolute perfect pieces look at the blue in that whoa and then we had maybe a hundred pounds of the the low quality the stuff that's not really good enough to make into cabochons or any jewelry or anything like that plus you know we had 50 to 100 pounds of garbage that we just threw out. Put it all together, we have probably about $15,000 worth of uh, high quality ocean picture stone. We have about, I'd say 20,000 of the premium. We have another $10,000 worth of the specimen stones and you know, a little bit of the low quality. If I were able to sell it all, there's about $40,000 worth of stone right there that we harvested on that trip. That's my money claim. <laughs> awesome. Now before we sign off, Evan just had a great idea. What was your idea, Ev? If this video hits 4,000 likes, we will give away a piece of ocean picture stone. There we go. If we get 4,000 likes on this video, I'm going to take one of my premium pieces of this stone and send it off to one of the commenters. Leave a comment, leave a like, 4,000 likes, and one of the really nice stones will go to one of my viewers. Good job, Hef. Really hope you enjoyed our adventure. Uh, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you like my gem and gold prospecting, plus all the rest of my treasure hunting, please consider subscribing. Big, big thanks to my patrons out there. Because of you, I get to make these videos. Got anything to say, Ev? Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Until the next one, everyone. Bye. Bye.